Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another live stream for you. Um, can you guys all hear me loud and clear? What's up? Hey, welcome from Thailand. If we're all good on the audio, I'm going to start um, uh, burning some keys. And, um, you know, again, welcome to everyone, uh, no matter what time of day you guys are, um, you know, for joining. Excellent, Philippe. Thanks. Okay, let's start our first key. Again, um, if you've noticed the, um, the title, I've actually uh, made it to about two years, I think in another couple of days uh, on YouTube. I mean, I obviously joined YouTube before that, but in terms of my so-called uh, gaming career, um, you know, this is my two-year anniversary. So again, thank you all for joining, all for supporting, and I'm pretty happy that, uh, you know, we've made it to this point in time so far. Hello. So as you can see, I'm still burning, uh, you know, my red keys uh, in the uh, Zebariah, and I'm actually close to 50 shadow on uh, cart. And I just want to really upgrade him as much as possible. I mean, I can work on other people such as uh, Aldo, of course, now that he's been buffed, uh, Gildna, or some other units. But really, I think Clark AS looks like a really powerful unit, and so I really want to, um, you know, um, have that all done ahead of time. <laughs> That's funny, uh, break, Daniel, sir. Um, no, I'm going to save my stones. I don't really uh, need you in AS. That's funny, but I, I totally get it. One day, one day. As I mentioned to a couple of people who've asked me to do a live stream for summoning, I'm actually much luckier when it comes to um, uh, summoning privately, and then I usually upload it afterwards. Hello, Ching. No, I'm going to be saving my uh, stones from uh, the next uh, couple of banners further on. Uh, there's still some choices, actually. If you're talking about units I absolutely don't have any um, version of, it will be Waiyura, Tiramisu, Shigire. Those are the three that I don't have any of, and so, you know, those will be something, something I will consider whether or not I'm going to go for it. But again, I know that uh, the end game we're going to be saving for Nakoko. Um, I'm sure all of you are pretty excited for that, and of course, Sukiya ES is there as a split banner from what I understand. Now, getting her wouldn't be even a loss. The, I do have Sukiya regular version, but I mean, hey, save those uh, whatever testaments or the new books that you have to find, so um, I wouldn't really mind uh, getting uh, that. And you can see I'm still leveling up his Mina, as well as Akane AS. Um, if you've caught some of my summons, you'll know that that's what I've gotten. Uh, Akane AS was from the, uh, I guess, the, the Whisper Drop. And of course, his Mina was a Rage Pull. And, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was uh, just lucky. Yeah, well, you're, I'm not really sure how good she is. She looks like a pretty decent support. Um, in terms of water lands, but I'm not really sure you need it, especially if you're going to get his minute AS. Yes, I do want Nokoko. Um, if you're wondering the best place to farm camp, any very hard dungeon, um, I find that uh, you know different dungeons are luckier or not luckier. Um, but yeah, I, I I would say any very hard dungeon, especially ones where you're farming um, for tomes as well. Of course, you can't get chance in certain ones like the ones where you grind for P5 or something like that. So that is a downside for grinding shadow uh, or light for those kind of units. Yes, yeah, Sukiya ES and Nikoko are in the same banner, so it's pretty sweet. Oh yeah, Melody as well, Super Saiyan. Not sure if that will be um, catching my eye. So uh, I'll, I'll look into it when the time comes and uh, of course uh, not only have a should you summon, I'll have to just kind of consider whether or not I want to go for it. Now if you're wondering, I'm not actually killing all 15 mobs anymore. Um, Melina's manifest for me is done, and so I'm just going to quickly, you know, just get a bar. Oh, uh, thanks for the info, Ching. I mean, if you've tried it in Japan and you didn't find she really fit into a team, then I'll, I'll take your advice and, um, you know, once I look over things, I'll uh, probably pass. Oh, congratulations on the chant before the stream, losers become winners. I w yes, I would love all of us to get a chant, and I was just saying to my family, I would love to get a chant 
live for you guys. We haven't seen that yet, among other cool things, or maybe a PCB finish. Again, this uh, live stream is more like, you know, just for us to hang out. Uh, I have to burn my keys anyways. If you guys aren't tired of me talking, then of course, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. <laughs> I'll continue uh, doing what I do once a week. I have to burn my keys anyways. The only downside is, uh, uh, is that obviously on a live stream, I'm going to be committing a good chunk of time into burning keys as opposed to, uh, for example, just, uh, you know, doing here and there a couple of keys, a couple of keys, right? So that would be the only downside where I have to kind of uh, block off a chunk of time. Uh, what, uh, when you're talking about replacing Philly Lee, for what purpose? Like for a strategy? I mean, if you're talking certain um, bosses, maybe because Mills just end the turn, especially if you boost her in the Pierce teams, um, it can it can beat the HP stopper. But um, Phil and Levy's raw damage is really really powerful, especially in the um, in a you know a slash team. So there are different uses. I mean, one's a Pierce, one's a slash. They all have and and besides, if you don't have Phil and Lily yet, uh, Phil and Lily AS will be coming out in the future as well. So um, you know. Yeah, I still think raw damage still really does more, but she needs some setup as well, of course, right? I mean, Victor works really well, but other slash kind of boosts uh, really help. Hey, fly hi, Flame Master. Yes, Melissa is definitely a game changer. I agree with the uh, Japanese VA. I tried English for a little bit and, um, you know, couldn't get around that. And most of the time when I played, um, you know, did games in the past, if they had a choice, um, I would prefer the Japanese or native uh, voice acting and then subtitles. Yep, Victor is great. But again, he, him, himself, his damage itself isn't the most amazing, but in combination on a certain, on certain teams, he really helps with the combo multiplier. His, his, uh, lightning move basically adds 50%, um, AF. Percentage. We really help boost the damage. Nice, Jose. More Aqua Goddess is always good. Hey, Yukino's still really good. Yeah, I know. The, they, they don't sound very intelligent sounding in the English voice, in my opinion. How's everyone doing today, actually? Did you guys have a you know, good day? I know it's Saturday evening for me, but obviously for those uh, overseas, you guys are probably on Sunday already. And for those who are on the uh, in North America, it's probably still Saturday. Yep, AS4 is broken. Totally agree with that statement. I would love to have you, Kino. Glad to hear that. Happy birthday! Uh, in terms of uh, straight DPS, I don't think AS Tuva really does as much, but her utility in both magic and earth zones is going to be unsurpassed. I mean, instead of having Yuna, for example, you're going to have AS Tuva apply into power down. And she really builds the bar really quickly, especially with her souls at the end of turn. In the first turn, she'll have three slashes and so on and so forth. Yes, Melissa really does help those uh, newest uh, bosses. I mean, I haven't watched any videos about that. I saw I, I saw a couple people, um, you know, uh, mentioning it on Reddit. They look powerful. HP stoppers, 500 million. Um, really haven't really gotten into that because, um, like you all know, I try not to watch anything to spoil my own strategies. Um, and, you know, if I really need help, I guess I can go to uh, look at that later on. But I really want to just attempt it. And even with the other eight Eastern Horrors, I tried to attempt it without uh, consulting any guides in terms of um, either Ultima or anything like that. Because, you know, at the end of the day, everyone has a different team. And, you know, I try to squeeze in some different strategies. So, um, yeah. I am looking forward to that update, though. Wow. Congrats on the Rosetta AS. I'm still grinding out the treatises. To be fair, I do have three, I just don't want to buy it. Sukiya so AS is very powerful. And again, same thing, I do have three of those treatises and 
I just haven't gotten around to buying any of the other things. So I know I've co I, I know I've talked about this in previous videos, but um, for me, I try not to buy anything. Um, keep all my superior gems, all my resources, if possible. Uh, Daniel, I am a pharmacist. Hey, Cloud Wings. Yes, Tsubami AS is coming out, and I'm looking forward to farming those as well. And I do agree that um, some of these units, I mean, a lot of a lot of us who've been playing the game for a while probably have most of the forms in OG form, and it's just a matter of if you want to use chance uh, to f and treaty seeds and farm those, or if you want to use stones and uh, grab the units a little bit faster. And of course, being free to play, stones are um, pretty limited, and so I'm probably not going to be doing that. I don't have that many, Jose. I mean, I have some. Uh, but I do use them to buy my keys each week, as you know. <laughs> Mario? In which way? Tons of lives? Oh, healer! Right. Not quite. Not quite. Oh, I should have barred it. I should have uh, started my bar. Oh well. I'll see if I can beat it. I guess I'll just bar here. There you go. Yes, 5 star fade looks pretty good. Uh, her ramp up takes a while, I think. I think they're going to really dust off some of those 4s uh, that got upgraded. I, I do think that Runa will get a manifest. I hope that Akane gets a manifest, being that I just got Akane. I am glad that I didn't upgrade or sidegrade her early on because that would have been a waste of uh, 5 chance and treatises. At the time that she came out, Rot Rival was the major boss, and I think she was basically the main strategy to beat Rot Rival because I don't think um, Garyu AS was out yet. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice play on words there, Leighton. <clears throat> Oh, I will say I'm pretty patient when it comes to farming this game, that's true. But I will say at times it does get a little bit um, monotonous uh, for farming. I mean, even in terms of videos, uh, for those who are interested in starting a YouTube channel or doing something like that, I think it actually takes a lot of effort. Like, honestly, um, not that I wouldn't do it again, but you know, it's, uh, it's not an easy endeavor if you want to do really well. What I mean by that is, you do have to um, basically want to uh, create different videos and think of cool ideas too. Like I know there's like a lot, a lot of people do the same thing. Let's play, right? Like just show your boss fights and this and that, uh, damage tests. There's lots of stuff like that, right? But I mean, um, you know, it, I, I find that coming up with new concepts for videos is actually one of the more challenging things. Yes, Farstar Pry looks really good, and I think he's uh, useful in some strategies as well. Yeah, I know. AS, AS, um, AS Mario is not going to be as useful now that you have a uh, Fane 5 star. It's okay, I'm sure you'll hit uh, Myris and uh, Phil Lily eventually. I don't think Myris is featured in anything coming up, so you'll either have to off banner or star during that. Unfortunately. One thing I'm curious about actually, do you guys play any other side games or main games or is this your only game? So people ask me that and I, I, I said basically this is my main game, um, don't have really time to do two things. Uh, Tim, yes I actually do make a little bit of money off YouTube. Um, you need a thousand subscribers at least to qualify for the YouTube um, program and then after that um, you do have the ability to sign up and, and have ads play, and yes, it is very uh, small amounts of income. So we're talking, you know, like honestly, not even a penny or two per ad here and there. Um, you know, it adds up. So if you, I, I find it more is like, oh, cool, I have enough money for like lunch or you know, a couple of other things. I think if you want to be uh, very successful or have a living with YouTube, I think you have to have like a hundred thousand subs, honestly. Oh, pre-con, yes. 
I've heard of that. Oh yeah, Genshin is also another time, uh, time user. Oh, Danmachi came out with uh, is uh, from the same developers as W uh, from WFS, I believe. And FGO is an older game that I am again quite familiar with. Great pops. Not really sure about that. Oh, Switch is pretty sweet. Arc Knights, yes. Uh, Michael, for your main heroes, you're eventually gonna have to five star all of them. So, yeah. <laughs> Aldo first. Nice. Yeah, a lot of people are mentioning similar games. Again, um, I am familiar with them, but uh, yeah, don't play anything else. I think it's also different. If I had started playing games uh, like these particular types of games early on, like for example FGO early on, I might have had a channel based on that. But I mean, I don't want to join a game and then you know, have to catch up because let's be honest, when you try to catch up, it's gonna be difficult. Oh, oh Final Fantasy. I, pl I love playing the console versions. Idol games are good. Good, simple game, couple minutes and you put them down. Oh, re really? Never heard of that glitch. Jetpack. Don't know that one. FFBE. I hear that one's quite money intensive or um, a lot of grind. Is that correct or am I wrong in my assumptions there? Yeah, Genshin is a big game. It's going to take time for the uh, updates to come out, right? Uh, how many characters do I have? I believe 131. So I'm missing 14 uh, units in any form. I think there's 145 total. Terraria, that's... I've heard of that as well. I think that's been around for a long time. Hey, Tails, sweet! Wow, Philippe, how do you balance all those? Uh, in terms of social media, um, I do have a Twitter account. I don't use it very often. Um, yeah, I think it's a it Will Mac Gamer Dad. And in terms of uh, other things, not really. I'm not really active uh, in terms of stuff like that. Uh, I am active on uh, Reddit. I do have a Reddit account. So you can message me that way as well. In terms of video, I'm not really sure um, how you would be able to send it to, uh, to me. Um, I don't think you can text that or anything like that. So yeah, you're asking about my party. I do have... 131. I actually had tons and tons of dupes and only finally um, gotten a bunch of, uh, you know, singles. Because yeah, I, I, I'm the master of dupes for free-to-play, honestly speaking. Uh, just give me a second here. I'm just going to take off my uh, sweater here. It's a little bit warm. Got all hot and heavy uh, playing the game. I am a big, big fan of uh, Final Fantasy, the uh, genre, so um, yeah. Tiramisu would be easier. Um, I I don't uh, I don't think she's uh, I, I think she's useful for that, especially with a high spirit unit. But honestly, my uh, my team and power at this point, I can one shot anything. It just I didn't even set up the auto farm grass. I think I can do that um, at this point. But you know, just honestly, kind of stuck in my ways. Ultimate Halo. Um, he's pretty reasonable. I've never had any issues uh, with him. As a mod. No, Myers AS is still the top tier uh, uh, magic user. Oh, thanks, Michael. Wow, 136. That's pretty sweet. Still got a long ways to go. Of course, as um, as we get closer to getting units, the chance of dupes is way high. 
yep, Melissa definitely makes life easier. I think Tier Misu definitely uh, does as well. And, um, you know, AST Tier Misu will have for Earth Zone, our second Earth Zone setter. So, for those who don't have the Mayumfa, or even have Mayumfa and want a second Earth Zone, because let's be honest, a lot of bosses now can reset zones, and so uh, you really might want two zones uh, to um, help. Like, for example, with the twins, um, I use two Slash Zone setters. I didn't have the raw power to, like, um, you know, one shot or two shot these kind of things like end of turn. I know the AS Suzuki or the uh, you know Super Magic Zone. Those seem to be the strategies going forward to two or three turn everything. Although, like I said, with multiple HCV stoppers and the fact that they can reestablish zones, it's gonna be a little bit tougher. One forty-four. Holy smoke! Only missing one. Who are you missing? Yes, I'm looking forward to Boss Rush as well. <laughs> oh, you're, uh, you're such a joker, Ching. Yeah, I, I think he's pretty normal, actually. I think Discord isn't Paulo um, more active than Ultimate Halo. I'm not on Discord. I don't even have a Discord unit. High tiers, nice. I only have like one unit over 80, I think. I'm Mario. In terms of, uh, you know, obviously in terms of uh, gacha units. Yep, Melissa makes things very, very straightforward. and. I, I know that when Global came out, um, when I first reviewed her and looked at her moveset, she looked pretty good. But I didn't realize her bar boost was way higher, and the fact that she has all those extra boosts in the first turn with the type move, and um, just the fact that she can allow so many awesome strategies, and then you have a second zone to replace that and probably win the game. Like even the break mechanic, you can set the break mechanic and then have your powerful DPS hit double. Sweet. Oh, I have four Nagis as well. Yes, Tiramisu AS will be our second Earth Zone. Oh, Terra Nivea, I remember just stalling. I think I used Fire Zone. Not even that great. You should watch. You guys should watch my old videos. I was using my main uh, team with like all guys: Yuin, uh, Seti, Seti. Oh, Seti's gonna be useful. I think uh, even though Seti's not powerful in terms of DPS. He's going to be dusted off for a lot of these boss fights, boss rushes, and stuff like that. His his int down mini type shield is going to be very useful in the fire team, I think, or Pierce team. Oh, that's good to know uh, that uh, Ultimate Hill is uh, kind of. I know he, I know a lot of them don't really um, uh, do much outside the Discord or Reddit. That already is like full time job for them. Yep, Ukwaji 140. I think Ukwaji nowadays is much more straightforward than before, being that you have more access to zones. Um, I remember having to just take a hit and let someone die. And of course, nowadays, you can one turn, two turn, pretty much do anything you want. I hope so. I don't think there's any um, slated in Japan, so Ukwaji 170 is all we have, guys. Really? How does he have time to do this as a doctor? That's awesome. I think Jeremy Tan honestly backed down, uh, backed off. I think he still plays the game. I remember he was pretty active back in the day, but he left Reddit because I think um, some people were jealous that he spent a lot of money. Something like that. I remember he uh, had a 255 AS Suzette already. Man, no shadow, nothing exciting, guys. Too bad. Well, we still have a few keys. Again, who uh, uh, those are who are not in the chat um, or haven't posted in chat, welcome to the uh, stream. I see uh, about fifty-three of you are currently online, and um, yo, know, welcome. Oh yes. Uh, my uh, my son, aka Jeff Morrison, um, he does watch uh, on Paulo's uh, summons because he has a Discord channel. I mean, Discord um, account. HP stopper. Oh, I think uh, you can test out a lot of uh, super damage there and the knights event where that that uh, little little um, whatever armor thing has HP stopper. And you just stack on and do whatever you want there. Wow, 27k for his Mia? 
Well, I think you spent a lot on um, Radica and other things too, so that's rough. I'm glad I don't chase the ESs. I think that's one of the scary parts, especially if you're uh, you're focused on um, getting the newest units right away. Oh, you know him? I'll have to say uh, that uh, I'll have to say that he uh, that you said hi. Yes, Theo the Great is his um, alt. I guess his uh, account name. Uh, Paulo spends real money. Yep, at uh, chapter 66, you still have lots of uh, stuff. <laughs> I think my Ultimania Hammer is only like level 20 something. A uh, couple of a uh, couple of uh, levels left. I think the last few levels will require other lands, and I don't want to waste my green piece there. In terms of Eden, I think I honestly think the lifetime of Eden, especially if the writers continue on, could be years. I, I feel five plus. Um, I, at least I hope so. I mean, if you think about it, Japan's already at four. Ten pulls all the way. So <clears throat> I'll just uh, I'll just uh, mention this. Uh, I tell my sons. I know I lecture him them as a dad. Um, ten pull increases your chance on the tenth encounter from three point three to three point six percent. So an extra ten percent on five stars. In terms of four and a half, I believe it also increases it tremendously. So if you think about it, if you summon singles, you can get the feature unit, I, I guess, a stop earlier if you get singles. However, over the long run, you're essentially paying 10% more than I am. Or, I should say it another way, I get 10% more 4.5s and 5s than you will over the long run in terms of singles versus 10 pulls. So, unless you're less than a thousand stones and you really want to crank out that last try at a certain special unit, 10 pulls all the way. And I, I've heard people say it's luckier for singles and so on and so forth. I mean, you can be luckier, but the math is the math, right? I have done singles to be fair. I have earlier on, but really, nowadays, no, 10 pulls all the way. And I, I, I also say this, if you do save uh, stones, and hopefully some, if not most of you, do follow my Should You Summon guide, honestly, you will have a similar bankroll to myself, hopefully, uh, where you will have enough stones to summon on your featured units. And remember, good try on a featured unit if you want at least a 50% chance of getting the featured unit in any form. 4 to 5k stones, everyone. Yes, if you if you really need the banner, weapon banner, you can do singles. Or if you have, because you log in for a hundred every day, right? I don't know when the weapon banner expires, but if you have time, try to save up for a tenth. Yes, the rate up's on the tenth encounter. That's correct. So on the tenth encounter, you have three point three versus three point six, right? Not including the fours to four and a half, right? So the four and a half, I think you actually get quite a bit more four and a half on the tenth pull as well. So I don't know. Hey, free is free. It, it, the fact that the game. I know that the odds are okay, not the best, not the worst. You might as well give yourself the edge, right? Great up is always a lie. I, I, we've been spooked and off battered by so many. Hey, Daniel, it's okay if you can't beat them now. Go back when you have a better, a better team, or uh, you know, farm some Grasta. I do find that Grasta really does lengthen the time uh, of your use of your units. So you have a few days left to uh, play Mester. If you farm some uh, achievement as well, you will be able to farm a tempo, hopefully. Yes, 20 destinies is a great value for those who spend stones. Two for one, ASs as well. Not only are you saving chance, you're saving three DCs and or getting new units. Michael, yes. I am only missing a Lulu, which I'm a little bit sad. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Twins are tough. Like honestly, twins are tough. Um, I would recommend definitely watching a number of different videos on YouTube. They have a lot of different strategies. Some are two or three turns. Some are a little bit longer. Like uh, myself, I think I had a slash zone. It took like 15 minutes or something like that. I do have a... Abigail, I do have one on there. 
uh, in terms of increasing counter. I didn't put three because you just keep on stopping all the time. I am familiar with uh, uh, Avarice or Avarice. Um, I thought he kind of plays the game pretty casually, so I don't really follow him that often. Congrats, Lumine. I mean, yep, that's that's pretty sweet. Three five stars in 2k is way above average. I think in my last little runs, um, I spent 6k, five on, um, five on uh, Melsha, and then 1k on um, his Amina, and I got two five stars. So that's average. One five star in three ten pulls is the average rate. Um, and of course, Brilliant didn't get anything of note. Hey, Melody, glad you can join. Yeah, the HP stopper, I think that really is the trend moving forward. Um, honestly, teams are too powerful if they don't have HP stoppers. The other thing I think they should really start doing, and I'm sure they're going to eventually, you notice some bosses can take away your AF bar, that's going to be another thing they're going to do. Oh, no worries. Life gets in the way. Anytime that anyone wants to drop by, I'm always, I, again, I'm always amazed that you guys actually just want to watch and uh, me burn keys and hang. It's okay. Meryl is, uh, is a game-breaking unit, especially in the early to mid-game uh, back in the day. I don't know about now, but still pretty good. Not sure about the cheer me. I think hers is not modifiable. Maybe I'm wrong. I think the damage is like its own. Hey, Bocus, a uh, new player from Steam, welcome. Yeah, uh, hey, the RNG is RNG, and getting four unit, four of the same unit is, is shocking, but I'm not surprised. Yeah, I have AS uh, Mario as well. Don't, haven't ever used her actually. She's leveled up. She gives stat bonuses to Meryl. I don't think actually Meryl's in uh, many of my teams except for super boss fights. <laughs> cool. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, the twins are tough because looking for the actual pixel where um where the HP stopper was annoying. Yeah, Leclerc is pretty good. Leclerc AS anyways. Yeah, nowadays, it's definitely doable with two or four turns with the right team. Cool. Best waifu in the game? You know it's Suzette. Picture in picture? I think if I stream off my PC, I can actually have, um, like, like the chat with it, uh, Windows and I can I can customize those widgets, but because I'm playing off mobile, uh, iOS doesn't allow me to have widgets running at the same time as I stream. Yeah, I still, I have a Yuna as well. Haven't, um, haven't leveled her up yet. I mean, she's a four star, so I haven't, le I haven't, um, five starred her or AS her yet. I'm also waiting for that manifest. I think that's two updates from now. Uh, you can use those dormant ores that you get from future Garelia. So they become orange instead of blue. Hello, Matthew. AoE pain setter? I think it depends on your team. If you're talking like Pierce, for example, uh, Suzette OG is great. Um, but most of the most of the moves are actually single single target. But that doesn't matter. I mean, hey, good luck, losers become winners. Yeah, most of the bosses are only single target anyway, so I don't really worry about AOE versus single target. If you're really strong enough, you know, you can you can wipe out the minion and then target the boss directly. Face reveal? You should be able to find my face on uh, Facebook or uh, if you want.
Oh, I love Elga. Perfect for my non-elemental slash team. Hey, that's guaranteed chance. Perfect. I don't buy anything with the uh, with the uh, 180 grass uh, or uh, uh, those whatever. I only use I only use those dormant or I mean the dormant ores for upgrades. Uh, the altar ores I always use for key uh, for the tickets, and um, I wait for the spirit stone fragments, which are those rainy days, in order to get any of the special grass that I need. Okay, see ya, Flame Master. Yes, fishing is the way to go. Yes, love ya. Melody, good idea on Garyu. I mean, especially with the grass enhancement, you want 200 shadow if not 255. I think mine's at 215, so I did spend a lot of time there. Man, pretty unex uneventful grind so far. Well, hopefully you guys bring me luck, especially on this eve of the two-year anniversary. For my channel, that is, not for the uh, global. Since global came out in last week of January, er early February, and of course, I didn't start filming and recording since, uh, until, honestly, a couple months after that. I think someone mentioned that um, I didn't voice my first few videos, and that's because, honestly, didn't know what to say. Just recorded gameplay and hoped that people watched, and after you got, uh, I, the strategy was after you guys would watch for a while, then I would put some effort into voicing, which happened a, a month later, I think. <laughs> I have not traded any in actually. I still have a ha a bunch. I really should, because most of those um, uh, enhanced ores or whatever they come in reward lines too, right? Yep, Radica, Radica. Anytime you have an a like an AS banner is a dedicated banner where you get both forms. Not a bad idea. I have luck lucked into a four and a half Radica on my last polls, and so I'll be farming those tree DCs. Ah, uh, tw the 20 cats you mean, right? Th that's useful. Hey, you get 20 stamps towards the 950. Remember to talk to that big cat once you get enough. You get all those powerful uh, um, badges. No, I think she actually becomes AS, uh, AS Levia. I think that's what they were releasing. Maybe I'm wrong. Lovely. Unfortunately, not as good as before. Fire Blunt. Um, she has a little bit of healing, a little bit of support, but... At this point, unless she has a manifest, probably dated. Oh yeah, that's true, losers become winners. I mean, trade for whatever you want to trade for, right? So if you have lots, might as well. I think those 9 lives or last stand, anything that enhances your damage or helps you live would be great. Argent, time to grind out those uh, treatises for the Rosetta AS. Okay, Ching, good to know. In terms of the next global anniversary, honestly, if they end up celebrating more with Japan, I'm cool with that. It is what it is. I mean, it was originated in Japan. We kind of fell out afterwards. We get a small celebration and then we join in on global, on uh, Japan's big one. I'm cool with that. Look at look at Japan's four-year anniversary. It's sweet. Like, we actually got quite a bit of stuff. I'm actually very surprised. Yep, Melody, tons of stuff to do for um, for our upcoming units. Almighty Power Grasta. So if you upgrade it, I believe it gives... Is that the one where it shares? I think when you upgrade those Almighty Power ones, it shares. So anyone who has the same trait that qualifies for it will get the benefit for it. I actually share a lot of my Grasta. I'll, I'll show you guys af I'll show you uh, afterwards. Renry? With Manifest, Renry OG uh, is the basis of a non-elemental slash team. Speed down, int down, power down, AoE. Judgment is crazy awesome against bosses. Non-resistible, by the way. Ah, uh, nice. Try to farm, to uh, have the patient to farm two more if you can. If you need to buy it, then go buy it. I'm sure many of you are still relatively new to the game, so, you know... Seeing my account like two plus years in, 
it's it's hard to kind of imagine you guys so, getting to this point, like you know, especially if you're beginning. So don't feel discouraged. I mean, it's it's a matter of time, honestly speaking. And so you know, and nowadays it actually makes it easier for you to catch up because so many of the newer units are so powerful. There's no real struggle in terms of other than um, honestly, you guys missed out on some red and green keys, which you know eventually you have to grind out those units as well. But in terms of the difficulty of the story, having those newer units it makes life so easy with the graphics system and stuff like that. Man, back in the day, tough. Those dungeon runs were uh, not that easy. Two AoEs to clear anything. But I, I did enjoy the challenge and honestly probably made my skills in the game a little bit better be, being that it's not just two year this, two, uh, two turn this, two turn that. I am also grinding for ASUN. Nice. 120 is great. Remember to aim for 360 eventually for the Gary Leah. Those extra lines will help you get a lot of treatises. Um, if you need the non-elemental slash Super Saiyan, then uh, uh, yes, go for the Renry. Otherwise, save your chance in, uh, for other units. Yeah, the power creep can be real. Uh, Lumine, for your uh, twins, I think you, ha you could use you could use Yuan in a, a magic team. I think you could also use Mariel. Uh, Rose, uh, Gary is great, but I think for in terms of mass damage, you still need AS Myris. And that that the the, the blob, the Melosia, again, same thing. You have to kill them before they hit your team, otherwise it hurts a lot. I'm looking forward to upgrading or side grading my Sukiya AS. Fishing? Follow Living Green's fishing guide. Google that. I used it. It makes your... It... Oh, sorry about the crackling. Um, yeah, follow Living Green's fishing guide. Yes. Yes, is are broken. It's okay, Noel. You can grind those out eventually. Uh, for early or mid game, you guys should actually definitely run Seal Drum a couple times. They do drop on occasion um, XP badges plus 30. Even the XP badges 20 are pretty good. How's the sound now? Let me know. Ooh, rare area. Let's see if we can finally get something good here. Okay, see ya, Daniel. Ching, if you need to go to sleep, definitely, uh, hey, sleep's more important. I also adjusted the um I adjusted my mic, does that work? Ah, F. Um Maximilian. Claude AS is your wind zone center, so that will be helpful. See ya, Rice. Good night.
Uh, but OG Claude is great for um, Pierce zone support. Oh, got to hear it, guys. I just unplugged it and re plugged it in back to Mike. Yes, my Astral Boy does have two badges. Yeah, it could just be that the internet is, um, you know, being eaten up. So hopefully it improves. Again, I don't, I don't ever change the settings, so honestly the fluctuation is just due to my internet. Okay, I just did it again one more time. Hopefully that'll be the end of uh, fixing the uh, light. In Strawboy's not important. He's only a light shadow, a light, light battery. Yes, I believe, Tim, they do uh, stack. So I use the 10% uh, for example, the 10% XP uh, weapon from the apprentices. And then I also stack uh, the 30% badge, so 40% uh, XP bonus on these two units, the Hismena and the uh, is cutting. Yay, glad to hear it. I don't have a fishing guide, but Google uh, Living Green. Living Green was a player in Japan, he still plays, less active on Reddit. His guide is amazing and I followed it um, back in the day, it saves you a lot of time. I think things are a little bit different now because uh, there's more places that are open, but check it out. He will save you a ton of time. And he has a, like, a part 2 that basically uh, allows you power level. Um, just for transcripts. The satellite stadium does not increase your true DCs. Yay, fixed. Uh, XP weapon is from the auction, which is from uh, Sophia's storyline. They're called the apprentice weapon. I'll show you uh, after this uh, this dungeon. Forgot what that storyline is. Silver something something. Uh, I highly recommend for living uh, green uh, uh, guide. Green as in the color green. It's uh, the power leveling is definitely better, as long as you have some some get like you said. Oh yes. Uh, uh, satellite stadium. You have to grind enough altered ores in the future gear, Leah. There you go, see the Apprentice Lance? So, yeah, not too bad. Oops. Nope, not something, guys, sorry. Here. Individual XP 10. Uh, Satellite Stadium is after Chapter 76 in the future Garelia Dungeon, so if you're not there yet, you probably have an access to it. <laughs> Yukino is awesome. Oh, 100 million git? More than enough to do uh, power leveling with fishing. In terms of the auction, Tim, it is a waste of time in some areas, but if you do a little bit every day, just like anything else, I think it'll be fine. One thing I haven't finished is my cat battles. I think my total cat team is only 3,000. And I think there's actually two additional um, uh, Chronostone rewards at 4,000 and 5,000. So, you know, I don't grind everything either. Uh, Sheila should be coming with the AS eventually, hopefully. Uh, Galliard. I don't know if he, the, when they're going to do that. And no Pau, nothing, nothing mentioned. Do you guys kill all your um, mobs or you guys just uh, run right through? You're welcome. Yes, mining, mining take your time. I definitely enjoyed the storyline um, in that one. Had the feels. 
and again, nothing is time gated, so that's very, very nice. And again, I, the one of the main reasons I really play this game, I don't want any time limited events. I used to play a game uh, called Marvel uh, Contest of Champions, where there were like time limited events, and there were like a kind of a you have a almost like a guild or a team, and uh, and you had to participate an exact certain number of times in order to cooperate. Too much drain. I need something where I can play when I need to, and put it down when I need to. Honestly, I should probably skip through, but I still um, need the um, XP in the, for grinding these units, so I do take a little bit of time to kill all the horrors, but honestly, I should really speak through. そこに Yeah, but those ones you can log in, in terms of the content. I'm talking more of the, uh, you know, like, events where you have to play straight through or anything like that. That's just kind of nutty. When you log in, it's like private. Oh, Milsha's Tomb is uh, in here, or I believe it drops in um, uh, Man Eden Marsh very hard. Yeah, time, time, um, time collab sucks. Like this one, you can always play, right? So it's great. I don't think they'll ever add skip options because I think when they like the the, the, the writers and the original player uh, developers of the game really wanted you to enjoy the storyline, and I think having a skip option kind of defeated the purpose for them. Just like auto battling and stuff like that, they just don't want to, uh, they want to give it the old school feel where you can't do anything like that, so. I don't mind, it is what it is. It is a little bit bittersweet to be honest, losers become winners. Man, losing so many stones early when she was of a lot of use, my water team really needed someone like her. Now that I'm pretty powered up, honestly, yeah, it, it, it's not as um, necessary, shall I say. Yes, Tim, they are. Yes, Myris. Uh, Tomes. Hmm. I can't remember, honestly. Oh, you're talking about uh, tree seeds? You can only get them as reward lines, as rare reward lines. You're talking about the, uh, yeah, tree seeds drop as a 0.1% chance in any very hard dungeon, or most of them actually. So, if you have enough reward lines unlocked, like for this dungeon for example, you can get a tree seed. We haven't seen one yet, but you can get tree seeds here. And in Garalia, the dungeon, all three of them, they have five reward lines if you have enough shadow or light. And, um, you know, you really want to make sure you have as much um, of those reward lives unlocked. Honestly feeling a little bit sad. 10 red keys, no light, um, or sorry, no shadow for Clart. Feels bad, man. Hopefully anyone who's farming along with me is doing really, really well. Oh. Moonlight Forest for, for example, for uh, Azami was ugly. I remember taking a while for that sun tome. A uh, point one for each one that exists. So I think there's 25 or 26 now. So I guess 2.5 percent chance, maybe something along those lines. It's not just point one, and then of that is random. At least not why, why I uh, understand. Starlight's still not bad. I mean, I know that Iska's dated, but she, her manifest will eventually come out. You 
No, it is 0.1. Okay, I'm resetting. Are we good? Well, yes, thank you. No, my, my house is a little bit older, so um, I use wired internet, and it's not the newest um, internet to the house. So, so, you know, I'm waiting for the uh, neighborhood to upgrade everything to, I guess, uh, I think we're still on broadband. So I think they're changing out the copper wires to next-gen wiring. So right now, we're still pretty slow. 75 Mbps, guys. Not uh, the terabit or whatever that people are running nowadays. So that's why it uh, definitely drops off, um, you know. And of course, the family uses the internet too, right? Yes, fiber is coming. It does cost a lot more though, so... Instagram? Uh, you should be able to search it up. I don't check it very often, actually. I do have one, and I think it's under Will Mackey or Dad. Ah, uh, you don't need food, Noel, do you? Hopefully you can make it. If you have a good healer, you should be able to uh, sur uh, survive. Oh, hey, thanks Arjun for the shoutout. Yes, if you guys want to support me financially, um, and you feel that you like the content, I have Patreon, I think YouTube has a membership, and of course, even on these live streams, um, you can choose to super chat if you chose to. Again, you know, I ain't gonna be honest, I, it's uh, not really about the money, I don't do this for a living, but uh, you know, it, it's kind of more fun for me as a hobby than anything else, to be honest. Yes, yes Cody, I will definitely do that, I'll consider that. It does cost more and uh, you know, at this point in, um, in technology wise, I mean back in the day 75 was probably enough. Fiber is probably the way to go and honestly, I just have to bite the bullet and pay. I just, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit cheap. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty old school. Um, I was raised uh, by my parents who were uh, immigrants, so I'm a first generation uh, in Canada. Uh, I was raised to conserve money as much as possible. And even though I am, uh, you know, uh, obviously I have a career that pays well, I try to be economical when I can be. <laughs> So Noel, uh, if you haven't learned yet, uh, check out some of my Back to Basics videos in Surviving Dungeons. You can actually rotate. What I usually do, especially in the early days when my team was weak, kill off all but one mob, then rotate people to the back and leave your tank out front to take hits while your back of your uh, team recharges, and you will be able to recoup your MP to make it to the end. I know people don't do that nowadays, but yeah, you can definitely do that. No, I'm in Vancouver, actually. I have a relative in um, Toronto. And I've been there before. Okay, Daniel, I'll take a look later. Oh, thanks, Tim. I know, that I really do sound old school. My kids always say, wow, you're like, you know, no one lives like that and stuff like that. But, you know, I... Until shown otherwise or necessary, I don't necessarily need to um, change. And... Yeah, thanks. I, I'm pretty comfortable, honestly, and if there, hey, to be fair, Tim, if it's, if there's something I want that's nice, I will buy it. I do buy nicer things, and my wife and stuff like that, and we go out for dinner from time, you know, mo most weeks. Uh, so it's not like we're like, oh, you know, like, not living life or anything like that. It's more like, for things like this where, you know, it's, uh, you know, nowadays with Zoom, I do have to think about upgrading. At the time, honestly, 75 was more than enough. Yeah, I think that's the thing. If you if you don't need a replacement, why change? Why get something? Rhode Island, nice. That's New York, right? Hey, while they're listening, Tim, that's the way to go. My kids are already like, Dad, you should buy this. You should do this. I was like, ah. <laughs> but to be fair, I mean, you know, I, I again can't complain. I, I I'm playing on a 
iPad that probably costs more than a lot of people's laptops, right? So, you know. How many kids do you have, Tim? As you know, I have three boys. Um, Arjun, I wouldn't upgrade Cruel Angel at this point unless you absolutely need the stats. Um, use your green keys for um, other... Oh, Rhode Island. So, whoops. <laughs> you, you can see my geography uh, in uh, the US is not the greatest. How old am I? I am in my 40s. Old enough. Old, old. Hey, cool, Tim. Nice. Lots of fun. Once they're older, they'll stop back talking to you like mine. <laughs> so in terms of uh, green keys, honestly, I wouldn't use those to grind points generally unless you absolutely need to. I usually use those green keys to run dungeons. Um, that are like, you know, like get me chance and stuff like that. So I think tail, uh, Ruins of Rakiana was one back in the day, uh, if you don't have access to um, Garalia yet. Jordan, how far are you in the game, first of all? No, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm in my 40s, unfortunately. So, I guess the end, end result with uh, most summons, in terms of what your team building, if you are not, if you don't have a lot of um, zone units, you should probably go with the weapon essence banner. Hey, enjoy your um, enjoy your youth. After forty, your uh, in my case, my health is not nearly as awesome as it was when I was younger. Not to mention, not to make, not to say I was really healthy back then. I would say that I was a typical um, studious kid. You would call those kids. Uh, I guess back in the day, nerds. Although nowadays, hey, being smart is uh, considered uh, a valued asset, right? It is a long dungeon, uh, but you get rewards for killing those uh, mobs, and I think your chance of chant scripts is a little bit better there. Uh, no. So, Jordan, do you have. If you don't have um, a lot of uh, zone units, the same with you, Noel, go with the weapon essence banner. They have six units. If you're missing. Three or more in any form, go for it uh, because that will really save you a lot of time. Zone units really do um, do a ton of help you do your team do a ton of damage, and we don't know when the next zone banner will be. Keep in mind though, we do get crushed for free as a zone unit for a slash. Uh, AS form can be farmed with treatises. Argent, I do exercise uh, three to four weeks, uh, three to four times a week. Hey, sorry to hear that, Super Saiyan. Hope uh, you can take care of yourself as well. Uh, weapons armor? Um, honestly, in, at this point, uh, go with Eastern. You can farm the overworld. Um, most of the newer armor is top stats, and if you want to grind out certain... Uh, I think the newest one in, in Geralia has the... Overworld has the... Uh, what do you call it? The um, Might series. So they increase your damage if you have max HP. Those are pretty good. And of course, make sure you get the specialized sets of armor from Antiquity as well as current Garylea when you farm all those paints or whatever you need to trade in. Oh yes, yes, Gary, you. Uh, in terms of zones, I, I think I was focusing more on weapon zones though. So, like for example, Slash, you already have a free Slash. I consider Pierce pretty much an auto. AS Yuen kind of participates in all zones, and then you have a Magic Zone, which is only AS Rosetta. So, you know, even the weapon essence banner, a lot of times, unless you're missing tons of them, you really shouldn't be... Uh, I don't consider that a top tier banner, unless you're really missing three or more. Yes, future Garalias, uh, I mean, any Garalias where do you grind chant, uh, the, sorry, grind grass stuff, and make sure you do the elemental ones in present day first. I find those will be the easiest ones to upgrade and also to get your system um, going. Team damage, okay, that's good to know. Grasta really makes a diff world difference. Notice how many boosted stats I have on my team. All those extra icons, those are from equipment and a lot of Grasta. 
I have a video on that Argent. You can check check it out. It does take a little bit of time, but I think it's like 20 minutes for a run. Oh yeah, added in Goddess has a lot of those two turn, three turn kills. Hey, she has every unit. Um, and you know, she can do all the strategies. So definitely if you have the units. Ooh, wow, nice. Look at that guys. Finally, some sweet luck. I actually don't need the Melodivas. I have enough. Oh, and the Shadow. There we go. Caught up in one run, guys. I'm sure it's the... Oh, wow. Let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Let's go. <laughs> oh, excellent. The Silken Wisp, I actually needed that. I only have two. So, uh, that's my second one, I mean. So, let's, let's, let's do this. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Let's go, go the OG route. Hey, yo, yo, man. I'll take the Guiding Light Luring Shadow item. This is sweet. Doing well. Keep in mind, I have the max stamp, so you don't see anyone swarm me. Perfect friend would be sweet here. Oh, two special rooms. Hey, hey. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any uh, hopes uh, for this. Zavira's okay. This is an epic moment, man. Let's go. Uh, come on. Okay, two more. Realize that everything's predetermined, right? So you know whether or not I make it or not, it has no, no bearing on anything, of course. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let's, let's go. No vario, guys. Can we? Can we do it for the stream? Please. Oh! So close. That was pretty epic. That was pretty epic. Okay, that's that's pretty sweet. Okay, let's try that again. It was close. That was really epic. That was really epic. Two special rooms, two treaty seas, and a shadow. That was pretty hype. Glad you guys could join me for that moment. That was pretty sweet. Those are really rare, man. It's okay. I will actually be putting out a video in the next, uh, probably tomorrow or the next day. I actually have a uh, a little surprise in terms of uh, uh, a PCD finish. I'll just give you guys an early, um, you know, heads up that I will be putting up. Usually, I put up a for those who are following the channel, of course. I do put up a weekly or three weeks, so kind of that kind of a you know how I do on my 3D scenes chance. You'll like this video. Don't get salty. Uh, that's all I'll say. I warned you guys ahead of time. Don't get salty. Jade is still good, and Serene's pretty decent too. Oh, losers become winners. You're talking PCD finish? Yes, I did get one re uh, 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 recently. Oh man, Arjun, if you saw all the recordings that I do and uh, just delete, yeah, you'd see a ton. Um, I, if you're wondering how I do edits, I actually record everything where I have a chance of getting some sweet, and I just cut and you know obviously edit, um, you know do some uh, you know uh, voiceovers and so on and so forth. Hey, Fel Caddy, welcome to the stream. Uh, Vane, uh, Clark's final skill will be up, uh, unlocked after chapter 8, I think. So next chapter? With E.S. Molina. So yes, you'll get uh, the last skill for Clark's regular version. Not available yet. 
Uh, currently, I just use iMovie, so nothing, nothing fancy. I know that um, people have played around with other, um, you know, editing things. I just do simple, no extra graphics. Honestly, again, pretty old, not really that tech savvy. I, I'm sure I could figure out, but you know, a lot of work. Okay, Daniel, see you later. Thanks for joining. And for streaming, I am currently using OBS for um, iPad. When I stream on the computer, I also use OBS. iMovie is still free, yes. <laughs> Again, I'm cheap. I don't pay for anything. <laughs> okay, see you, Tim. Mortal Kombat sounds awesome. I used to play the video game. Hey, you too. Have a good one. Yeah, I mean, as I said, iMovie was one I used um, since the beginning, honestly, and I know the quality of my um, editing has been a little bit better. Obviously, you get more experienced with it over time, but uh, yeah. Yeah, try, some, try something. Let me know. I'll check out your videos. Uh, one thing I would definitely um, recommend is when, when you are playing around with recording, if you're planning to voice over, make sure you test the volume on your uh, voice versus the uh, audio on the game, because uh, otherwise your voice will either be too soft or too loud. Oh yeah, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat! I think I like using uh, Raiden, Liu Kang, pretty standard. Oh, Sub-Zero, sorry, Sub-Zero, yo. I was really, really good at Street Fighter, actually, and uh, my favorite characters were Ryu and Ken, among others. And so, um, you know, uh, Sub-Zero and Scorpion were both uh, pretty well used, but like I said, uh, definitely uh, Raiden was uh, one of those cool ones. Kind of had that M. Bison move where you dash, like, you know, kind of dash, like, dash forward and fly over. iPad 1, nice. I think I started using the iPad 2 uh, back in the day. I had an iPad 1 at one point, but sold it off um, because it couldn't do anything. Oh, you stream on Twitch. How is it? I think I asked Melody before, uh, who, uh, who also streamed. And I believe for OBS, if you pay for the subscription, you can do uh, multi-stream where you can stream on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So I guess you'll have two kind of things going. So not too bad. I believe that works for mobile as well. Palm Pilot. Hey, I had a flip phone and uh, my I had a pager, guys. You guys don't... I don't even know. Do you guys even know what a pager is? <laughs> Let's see if we can get our 50th light uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, a 50th shadow. I think I'm at 49 right now. I know a lot of people talk about Twitch and I, I guess I could get started there, but again, this is just meant to be a hobby, so I'm probably not going to uh, uh, try using that in the future. Capture card. I guess that's on PC, right? So I guess if you play off PC, or is that on console? <laughs> Cody, you are right. Pagers. You have to type those, uh, uh, you know, was it leet language where you have to use le uh, numbers as letters and crap? That's pretty hilarious. Yep. Hey, those pagers were useful. Yeah, console, sweet. Is the... Uh... Hey Richard, welcome. Back to the game. Dunera? Not bad. Good healer, good support. Participation slash them. Yes, Zwei. Or I guess I hope it's pronounced Zwei. Uh, Melissa, all the way. I wouldn't say that normally for a Star Dream, but I think she is a go to character nowadays. She does something that no one else can use. Um, remember that I always like to summon or uh, go for units that have 
unique mechanics that you can't replace with anyone else. And currently, there's no one like Melissa. I don't think they're going to make anyone like her again for some time. She's just... I'm going to say it straight up. She's broken. She's OP. She's just... She's like, if she was on... If they re-rated Ultima, she should be like a 99 or 100. I know they changed it. Zalmina is great. Pain Poison Setter. Top level DPS for uh, Blunt. Physical Resist Down. Hey, pretty good, uh, Noelle, for playing only 3 to 5 days ago. You sound like you've gotten pretty far. To be honest, I haven't used Blunt Zone um, yet. Um, not because I don't want to, just because I can beat things with other things. Hey Will, yes, Melissa is OP. I'm glad I actually budgeted some stones left to go for her. Initially when I tried, I think I only tried 2k and I think I got... Is it Kalmina? Oh no, I got AS4 and it's my 5 star out of it. And I was saving at the time for... Um, I think Kalmina, Hina, Slash, and then, and, then, and then also for Rosetta AS. And so I didn't want to budget too much. Um, but after I had enough stones, I decided to go one more time for Melissa and lucked out in her four and a half. Uh, thanks for the tip. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I think I think I am going to stick on YouTube. Like I said, don't want to branch out too much. This is it, it suits my level of activity that I want. Uh, seems like everyone can pick up, like you said, pick up YouTube, watch it on mobile or on their PC or whatever. Nice on the AS Nagi, but yeah, that's a coin flip you lost twice, unfortunately, because it's, you know, half to get Milsha and half to get AS Nagi on the upgrade, right? Still, pretty nice. Two, ten pull, two uh, five stars on ten pull. Yes, hopefully you get Melissa on your, uh, on your um, you know, uh, the Whispers drop. I believe there's 85 five stars, so you have like, you know, one in 85. Good luck. I hope you get it. It's okay. Seal, you'll get AS uh, seal soon. You can't pull the five star seal. Remember that. You have to grind that out from the tail. Uh, there's a uh, she. Uh, he. He has a, a side episode. He, uh, little, little, whatever. Forgot what's called. Is in the is in the the episodes you can do. Yep. You should definitely save until you're missing both units apart. Yeah, it's called Foreign Skies and Ship to Freedom for 5 star seal. I actually haven't gotten 5 star seal yet. I still have a 4.5. Old account? Why did you get rid of Milsha? She's sweet. Okay, losers become winners. Thanks for dropping by. Happy birthday again. And enjoy. Hey, 50 shadow guys. Nice. Wow, 45 light. Yes! Extra stats. The extra speed should help at uh, 75. I will continue on. I, I do find grinding for shadows better anyways because everyone has light units, right? But not shadows less in general. My radius only has five light, I think. Four plus uh, I used an item on her to make it five. Yeah, I think Clark could be, uh, I guess, female as well as male. I think he's male, but I, from what I remember reading somewhere, I think they were talking about him being more of a like a celestial being that really doesn't have a gender, so that's why he kind of looks a little bit more non-specific. Three hundred snake liver Damaku runs. I think I actually ended up buying his uh, buying um, uh, all those um, those uh, 
solved because I didn't have a 120 shadow at the time it came out. Um, if you grind chance and you have a four and a half sway, honestly, two to three a month, two months maybe. Yep, I would definitely buy them with Severus gems. Varus, which one's a battle for a five star guild now, or just Varus, like, as in the guy? Yeah, I did buy a lot. I, I, again, I don't even remember how many I bought, but I remember buying quite a few. It just wasn't worth going there um, to Snake Liver when I had no shadow team. I mean, you only get two reward lines instead of three, and so um, mathematically, it was better to just buy it and work on it later, and honestly, don't, no regrets. Hey, thanks for pointing that out. It's been a, lo a long time. I can't even remember all the details. Getting old. Um, I do have 120 shadow now, of course. And I think my guild is actually 171... Oh, I don't know, 140? He's not exactly um, too low. He's actually pretty high. And nowadays, I would recommend grinding them. I would grind for the um, for the uh, for the psalms because honestly you go grind for Gilna Shadow anyways, and then um, you know get some tomes there. Remember you get lots of good tomes for Sneak Liver, Mayumfa for example, Elga, uh, Zaviro among others. I always recommend grinding over buying if it's possible, unless it's inefficient. That is, two lines instead of three, and so on and so forth. I know, grinding's boring. You rather buy your win, like buy buy things to get faster, but you know, hey, nature of free play. Gotta grind. You have to get used to it. Hey, see you later, Zway. Thanks for dropping by. So after these red keys, we can get a couple of green keys and see how our luck is, and then uh, that will conclude the stream for tonight. So, um, you know, again, thanks for staying so long. Uh, I know that we've been online for about an hour 20-ish. I couldn't beat it back in the day. For that uh, white whale, yeah. Nowadays, simple, one turn. I think it only has 5 million HP, so, you know. Things have really changed. Hey, then again, we didn't even have zones half the time, so, you know, things are really different. I do like the fact that they've, uh, you know, done more mechanics, but honestly, things have gotten a little bit, you know, more straightforward. So I'm looking forward to the challenge for those uh, Eastern uh, double bosses. <clears throat> You know, figuring out a stable rotation is much more fun than having a two-turn finish in my opinion. Yes, time flies when you're having fun. Nice speed badge, by the way. 23. Hi, good night. Five, first five star. My o original waifu, Alex. Suzette. I think I got her on pole 20. Um, I know a lot of people ask me about tracking your temples. I don't think you can do it now if you haven't tracked since the beginning. I tracked it from the very first time I played the game, so... Um, I can tell you the first, uh, this, my first video I think I showed 179 total summons, but before that, my twen second ten pull I think, by 20 ten like two ten pulls, I had one five star uh, Suzette, one four and a half Nero. No five stars after that until pull 70 something, so seven ten pulls total, um, and 
Um, you know, I think I had to. I only had 300 stone when uh, two knights came out. That was Annabelle's side story, of course. And I had to single summon because I had no five stars. I mean, I only had one five star and one four and a half. My early runs consisted of Denny, Sora. Um, I used a lot of four stars to beat um, Azami, for example. Uh, and then I think on my 70th second pull, so I had seven, seven ten pulls, and I, this is the first little while that I had to do singles. I, I single pulled uh, Annabelle in one shot. That was great. And I believe I single pulled Leclerc because her update came out um, soon after in the early version. I think it took three single pulls. So those times I did have to use singles. Uh, and then I carried me through for some time. So I had three five stars after about 80 pulls or so. So about average. I pulled Hismina um, Sebastian just uh, recently. So you can see her in my team. Grinding out the um, treatises eventually. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I, I would love the Eastern bosses to respawn, but they have, you know, um, boss rush coming. So hopefully we get to test out some stuff. Hey, at least uh, Arjun, at least you have a four and a half. You can now grind out the treatises. So, you know, the whole idea of the game literally is like Pokemon: collect them all, have as many units available, so that eventually when they get upgraded. Um, you can have some exposure. I know, I haven't upgraded ASCL either, so my Pierce team can actually get a lot stronger too. I'm not upgrading unless I absolutely have to. Um, I did upgrade uh, AS Leclerc because she had a manifest, might as well get the 150 stones. And I know it takes time to grind those uh, uh, keys as well. I mean, uh, those XP as well, so that's why I paid for that one. Hey, Sanctuary! Let's do this, guys. There are so many units I'd like to upgrade. Um, saving everything until absolutely necessary. I think even AS Virus, I didn't upgrade right away. Only upgraded when the True Skill Shimmer, I believe, uh, tried to tackle it with Earth Stone against the Water one, and uh, that worked okay. And never looked back. Myris is indispensable. A 5-star NS is good enough. Yeah, for sure. I do. I, that's one thing I really like about the game. As much as we talk about power creeping, they really try to keep all your current or older units relatively relevant. I mean, they're not going to be as flashy and as powerful as the newest one, but we don't expect that either, as long as they're competitive, right? I mean... If you guys watch hockey, which I do, I, I, I follow a lot of different sports, but hockey is the main one in Canada, of course. And um, I, 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 I liken it to having, uh, you know, in hockey you have four lines. Usually your top lines are the higher scores and the lower lines are kind of grinding things out. You're never, as a free-to-play, going to have, you know, all the top line units in the game. A lot of times you're going to have a lot of second line units. You might occasionally pull a top line unit, but you know, the rest of your team is still going to be second lines. Not terrible. You can put one good guy and a couple of decent ones and you usually win the game, right? Yeah, Jose, but Melissa's still broken. So, I mean, I know you don't have Milshire ASU, and that's the downside. Good to know. I have the. T uh, I could upgrade or side grade that. Not a bad luck badge, um, but yeah, he's he's got like sweet defense. Okay, let's let's uh, let's buy some green keys, and uh, finish off the stream here. I'll just buy a few. I have few as well. Um, we can do a few runs. Thank you uh, all for uh, staying along and watching and. That, that double treaties was pretty sweet, I will say, so. Okay, we're gonna run this team, same as usual. 
Alna is Aldo is better than Gildan when he's upgraded. Currently, Gildan's better, in my opinion. In my opinion. Yep, looking forward to having Aldo be sweet again. Honestly, the protagonist should always be super powerful. And the good thing is that you do have to finish the newest chapter, so it's not like people starting in the beginning of the game can just beat everything, right? So, you know, just like you had to go through Ogre Wars to get um, all those five star and stuff like that, I mean, it's not given to you. Okay, here we go. Try to stun. Pretty cheesy way of trying to win. But that's what you get when you're trying to level up characters and have Serene in the action. I don't have a pain setter on this team. Um, I could have put Suzette in here, but I prefer to uh, have a slot for leveling up characters. Ooh. I think my original team didn't have Melissa. And nowadays, I do have her just to build bar. Makes uh, horror hunting much easier. Yeah, they don't have a, a new game plus or anything like that yet, unfortunately. Okay, let's do some airship satellite stadium, guys. I saved a few uh, tickets. Buy a couple. So again, for those who missed it, I only use those ultra orders to buy tickets. Hey, hola. Hey, right, see you now. Take it easy. I love coming here. All these extra fragments. If you need a water team, eventually you're gonna probably use. Um, I guess you can use Annabelle um, ES if you get enough treatises. But OG Annabelle with manifest is great, anyways. Yeah, no, Milsha is a target I had earlier on just because she does something that I that you can't do, that end of turn kill. And that's another reason I wanted um, Yukino at the time, but I couldn't commit all the stones there. Oh, that's right, Sebastian. Yeah, I love the music on this, uh, especially the area here. Alex, you are completely dead on correct. I'm actually surprised how long all these keys take. You know, our streams are always in the 130, 145 range. And I guess when we do that, like when I do the my own keys, like and split them up over the week, it's much faster. This is uh, it's always uh, amazing me how long you can play. <laughs> Come on! Oh. My last stream last week was terrible. Lots of crappy uh, rewards. Let's see if we can change that here, everyone. I always look forward to the five reward lines because you just have more chances of getting something cool. Yes, Alfeka. I never let the battle last that long though. Uh, Foxy, is um, my mic better? Sweet, one light. I will say I enjoy Future Gear earlier, but the runs are really fast. Not too 
そこに感情はない It's still not in my screen, but I don't have any information to shoot you, but I don't have any results, so I'm not sure why it's going to be okay with it. The screen sound it will only capture my talking, so I didn't use um, my AirPods. Although if I'm having technical difficulties, I might just switch directly that way. So um, you know, I will have my AirPods nearby, um, and if I need to, I'll just switch that way if that's preferable to you, everyone. Oh, good to know, Matt. Again, don't even know what I'm doing right or wrong. Yay. Oh, really? Didn't do anything. <laughs> I literally haven't done anything. Um, didn't pull it out, didn't pull it in. I swear. Unknown. For those who missed what I was saying, I actually can um, switch off to AirPods, but you won't hear the background noise. Like background battle sound. So if you are okay with that in the future, I can do that. But I always thought that people like to kind of like catch the uh, sound of the game a little bit as well. Ah, oh, maybe I'll have to play with the settings. Again, um, I, uh, let's see if we can get a chant script. 
we got a bunch of nothing so far. Oh, F. We ended off the stream with a nothing. That's unfortunate. Hey, thanks, Alex, for the for doing that research and, uh, you know. Oh, shoot. I think I'm going to die. So, if I do, I'm just going to hard reset. I know this is cheesy, but uh, we're going to have to do that. Ooh, survive. Wow. Well, I guess we can see if we can make it. Ah, uh, you didn't miss much, Lubin. Tech issues. Whoa! Oh my. I guess I'll distortion. Probably a better idea. I should not have come in without a bar, sorry. There you go. Gotta play defense. Oh, not even enough. Uh, it's in the standalone. Hmm. Hey, at least we get to hear more of um of Elfeka. Hey, <laughs> made it. Yeah, barely survived, and this is why. I got a little bit too complacent using Melissa. Ugh, not much to finish, though we do get a serene light. Okay, well, anyways, um, that ends tonight's uh, stream. Thank you all for joining, and that was pretty exciting with the double treaties, uh, yo, know, uh, thing. Too bad we didn't end up doing anything else, but, uh, you know, um, again, thank you very much, and hopefully you guys join me next time, and, uh, you know, have a good evening or weekend. Oops.